Shot one of the shoulder, one of the leg, on the way to Statesman right now. We have the school on lockdown, teachers and kids inside. The shots came from the shed. I think the shooter's still in there. No idea who it is. We made contact yet? Not for lack of trying. Commander? Chief, my men are ready to move in. Try again. This is the Metropolitan Police Department. You are surrounded by members of the NPD SWAT team. Put your weapons down and kick them clear of the shed. And come out with your hands where we can see them. Hold it. Hold your fire. Hold it till shed is secure. Now put the gun down, son. Put, put it down. Son, you put that gun down. Put it down. Drop it. Back away. Back up. Back away. Am I in trouble? Oh, yeah. Josh's locker and school records. Of course, whatever I can do to help. Thank you. Second grade. Second. Do I have to check the lunch boxes now? Wouldn't say where he got it. He's getting bullied by a fourth grader, so he shot it. Walking to America, land of the free, home of the Second Amendment. Joanne. Joanne, we can't find Joshua. They, they said the kids would be in the gym, but Josh was not there. He's with the police. Excuse me, are you. Joshua's parents? Uh-huh. I'm Jack Manning, chief of police. Your son's been involved in the shooting. He's fine. He's all right. What? We've got to take him no, down to police you headquarters. Made oh, we haven't made a mistake. And uh, you'll be able to talk to him down there, Detective Page. We'll make sure you get down there safely. All right? Wait a minute. He's only eight years old. Hey. Hey, Gilroy, what kind of monster did you raise, huh? What are you doing? Off. Oh, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. You, your face. son did this thing. What did you do? Get out of my face. You we gotta come, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Your son did this. Sir. You're gonna get yours. Sir. You have to come to you, sir. Calm down. No, sir. No. You're gonna get yours. It's all coming in later, right? Josh. Where'd you get the gun? Josh, honey, please tell him. Josh, I know you're afraid, but I, uh, I need your help. Somebody give you the gun? I found it. In the garbage. In the garbage? soda or something like that. Okay. All right. Christian, could you help me out? Excuse me. Christian, you play chess? A little. Yeah, sorry, you're looking at the chess board. Do you know what a queen's gambit is? 
That's when you sacrifice a pawn to gain an advantage. I think that's what's going on here. Your little brother is afraid to say anything. He doesn't want to get you in trouble. He's protecting you. No. No? It's a real shame. You don't let your little brother take the heat for something you did. How was I supposed to know he was going to find it? I mean, I told him to stay out of my room. What the hell were you doing with a gun? We don't have guns in our house. What the hell were you thinking? Mr. Gilroy, where'd you get the gun, Christian? This guy. Um, I don't know. I, I think his name's like Remy or something. Comes to our school. Yeah. He's into all that stuff, you know? Wears this red hat every day. He's cool. Look, I, I wasn't planning on using it. I, I was just trying to be... Guns are cool, Dad. I'm not the only one. A lot of kids I know have guns now. Christian, what are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? Do you know what you've done? Where would I find this Remy? I don't know. Answer him, Christian. Corner of 56th and Queen. Let my husband go. He is innocent. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? He's being processed, ma'am. There's nothing we can do. But you got the wrong man. Who's in charge here? I know those shoes. You're the chief, ma'am. You can get my Oliver out of here. Sorry, sir. Look, lady, you're going to have to calm down. All right? They arrested my husband, but he didn't do what they said he did. Mm -hmm. Burglary. He had the stuff on him, chief. Liar. Hey, you crossed the line, lady. Mm -hmm. uh, Brand. Brander? Is he? I'm sorry. Your name? Mrs. Nunez. Mrs. Nunez. I'm Jack Manny, chief of police. Why don't you have a seat? Now, Mrs. Nunez, these officers will politely explain what the process is. Would that be all right with you? That's all I get? Chaos will come to all of you. Obeya will see that he does. Wow. Well, that wasn't very nice. And I was polite. Sir. Yeah. Sir, I think she put a curse on us. A curse? I mean, did you see the look in her eyes? Uh-huh. I've read several books about this. I wouldn't mess with it, sir. Oh, Nancy, come on. Obey is a very serious shaman, chief. They can mess up your mojo. Oh, man. Oh, Brandon. I mean, come on. You don't even know what a mojo is. No. If you had a mojo, you couldn't find it. Right? Yeah. Nancy, get him some more. Come on, Brandon. Okay, deep breaths. Right. Ella, that gun buyback program you ran last year, how many guns we get off the street? Oh, about 1,800. How long would it take to set up another one? I'll put on a request and get right on it. Joe, I'd like to get cops into all the elementary schools, public, private, and I want those cops checking the lockers of the students. ACLU is going to be all over us. Well, good. We'll give them something to do.
Where the hell's our boy Remy? Thought he was a regular here. Kelly Bean? You know, I've been thinking. I think I'm gonna talk to the chief about getting you a new partner. The way I figure it, you gotta spend 12 hours a day with somebody. Might as well be somebody you like. <laughs> Let's get over yourself, all right? We're partners. See, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Whatever. You got a red hat. No, 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 hold up. We got two. Well, that was a simple solution to this. Yo, Remy! Yo, Remy! MPD! MPD! Get off! Get off! Remy! Ah. Came over to say hello! Yeah, all right, sweetheart. That's better. It's a little friendlier. What you got here, Remy? Huh? Quite a collection. Good thing our eight-year-old didn't get his hands on one of these babies. Littleton, Colorado, West Paducah, Kentucky, Springfield, Oregon, Pearl, Mississippi, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, and now Washington, D.C. These guns were confiscated from schools in the district today, and these guns belong to a street dealer who sold one to a 15-year-old boy. And that gun was used by his eight-year-old brother to shoot two fourth graders this morning. What used to be just a national problem is now becoming a huge problem in the District of Columbia. Now, the question that should be on your minds is, what about the parents? Guns have become deadly accessories for our kids. They're no longer taboo. They're cool. They're easier to get than tickets to a Redskins game. Your kids? Our kids. Right on time. Hey, look at it this way, Lewis. Man, two rebounds is two more than you had this time last year. Yeah, I guess. All right? All right. Hit them books. Oh man. oh, man, nothing. You don't pass, you don't play. No, 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 hold up. I know Adrian Jenner didn't just tell somebody else to do their homework, right? <laughs> oh, man. I know I didn't hear that. Hey, I see Miss Gambo <laughs> in church every Sunday, and she still look at me like I owe her a book report. <laughs> <laughs> you so heavy on that whistle tonight, wasn't you, bro? I mean, that one call, boy, I thought they were going to boo you off the court. You know what, man? I call them like I see them, and that's what I saw. <laughs> Thanks for repping these games, Jim. Kids appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And you know what, man? It's no problem. You're the one that's doing the good things. I'm just trying to help out. Yeah, we'll you know, have to open that reading center. Maybe I can get these kids to pick up after themselves. This is crack. Mm-hmm. Took it off one of them kids tonight. Give it to me. I'll go flush it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. I'm clean, man. I just saw this fall out your pocket. I know, and I told you I took it off one of the kids tonight. And I'm not turning them in, so don't ask. Oh, you know you can't be holding like this, right, AJ? I know, man. I'm sorry. Okay, keep it. Flush it. Get rid of it. I'll be more careful next time, okay? Later. Hey, Temple, you tell Ella we missed her tonight. Yeah. You finished? Yeah, hold on, Chief. I'll walk out. Ella. Chief. Sassy. What's wrong? We got a problem. My department raised a serial number on the gun from the Fort DuPont Elementary School shooting. It's one of ours. We confiscated it in our buyback program last December. How's that possible? I don't know, Chief. During the buyback, the guns come into all nine districts. 
They're attacked by property clerks who report directly to district lieutenants. Well, what happens after that? The guns are sent to the firearms unit. We test, fire, and analyze each one. If they've been in a crime, we sent them down to evidence. The rest we disable, send to the foundry to be melted down. How many officers we have at the foundry? Well, Chief, we don't assign officers to stand watch over disabled weapons. Manpower issue. Well, I'm not liking what I'm hearing. Well, you're not going to like this either. I checked the number of guns logged in the last buyback against the number destroyed by the foundry. 118 weapons unaccounted for. This just hits our radar now. I agree. You got to make some changes. Joe, get Willis with uh, the Brino Temple. Go over the paper trail, every scrap. If we got somebody dirty in this department, you better get your hands on them before I do. Now let's just uh, hold off on the buyback thing until we get to the bottom of this. Yeah. No, that's fine. City Council would like to see me. Uh, you better put a vest over that. All right, so after you tag them, then what? I told you, log them in the property. Right away? You're fine right away. How about you define it? How about I'm property clerk here 21 years? Now you're accusing me of stealing guns? Oh, man, this is messed up. How do you track them? Track them? I load them in my truck. They've been disabled. Why do I need to track them? Yeah, but how hard would it be to make a new firing pin for 38 or uh, place the hammer on a Luger? And how the hell do I know? I got a bunch of guys working for me. We take loads of guns from the truck and dump them into the furnace. I said, so nobody checks you coming in or out, just as a matter of routine. What do you mean, like strip search? No. a gun bought back by the MPD wind up in the hands of an eight-year-old spraying bullets all over a swing set. I'm trying to find that out, Miss Thompson. Are there any other guns unaccounted for from last year's buyback? Yes, 118. Are you telling me that this city spent $200,000, not to mention part of a HUD grant, so that the MPD could buy back guns that are now in the street? And this is a request from Miss Farmer, filed yesterday, to fund another buyback? Well, given what we've found, I think the public would support another buyback. For the record, Chief Mannion, how many times do the taxpayers have to pay for the same gun? Twice? Three times? What the hell's wrong with you people? I, I beg your pardon. A year and a half, I have been chief of the Metropolitan Police Department. This is the first time I've ever been called before this board. And the reason I am here is because a young child shot some of his classmates four weeks ago. A 16-year-old boy shot his 14-year-old brother, and five months before that, two students were injured in a drive-by shooting by some stray bullets. Now, my phone didn't ring off the hook. I didn't hear from any of you. There were no comments. There were no questions asked. Nobody seemed concerned. Why? The reason is because those incidents involved black children. Firearm violence is the leading cause of death for African-American males and Hispanics under the age of 25. Black on black crime. Minority. And you didn't call me. How come? <laughs> These for you. Mm. Mm. Smells plastic. Well, that's imported plastic. Mm. That's from Mexico. Well, you outdid yourself with the chocolates and real flowers. You sent me while I was in the hospital. But hey, I'm so glad you are here. Follow me. Concessions for the game tonight. Compliments of the Police Athletic League. That's why I don't have to lug them there myself. Fella, this is great. Thank you. You're welcome. Nah. So, are you here to have lunch with Temple? No, actually, I'm here to bail out a kid who screwed up last night. So now you're their parents, too? Uh, I can't help myself. This kid is two steps away from being where I was when I was 15. 
spinning on drugs and, and stealing the score. So I figure I'd hook them up with Temple, let them find out firsthand how good their food is in the Marines. Might be the only thing that saves that boy. Well, you'll save him. I hope so. Come to see you tonight? Oh, yeah. I see that one less dollar for the kids. So how do you, uh, how do you say your name? I can't. Remy. 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 So after car accidents, Remy, what do you think is the leading cause of death among children in this country? I don't know. You don't know. Give up? Gunshot wounds. Yeah, hey man, you know what? I just sell them. What people do with them, I sell business. Well, when kids start shooting kids, then it's your business. <laughs> How so? We found 97 weapons in Remy's van. Remy gets to go to jail for life. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Not? Really? Hmm. Okay. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants. 32 USC 1921. That is the uh, U.S. code that basically lays out the penalties for possession of paramilitary weapons like uh, Tech 9 stuff. Remy likes to sell. Yeah, so I... Yeah, well, don't get it? Uh -huh. Okay, Congress passed a law that says if you're caught with five or more of these weapons with the intent to distribute, you go to jail for life. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> I'll get myself a lawyer. I wouldn't spend too much money. It's all there in black and white. Where'd you get the gun? I told you, you guys. I, mean, I, I buy guns from a lot of people. Where'd you get the gun? I told you. Where'd you get the gun? I buy guns from a lot of people. Wait, come on. Hey, 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 sit up. Hey, wait, 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 please. Come here. I want to make a deal, please. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, can we make a deal? What? Can we please make a deal? Make a deal, you know? Please? Yeah. Yeah. We can make a deal. Here's the deal. You're gonna help me catch a bad guy. Remy. Okay, you're the boss, right? Chief, when did Congress pass that law? What? What law? Hell, most of this in my VCR instructions. I didn't figure Remy for much of a reader. He's my hero. 357 semi automatic, 13 round mag. Easy to conceal, sexy, and dangerous. A seller could pocket at least 300 bucks off this baby. Dual tone, sweet. I'd buy it. How's Remy doing? He's all wired up and on deck, sir. Okay. So first thing tomorrow, have him put the word out that he's looking for a weapon like that. Brina, why don't you log it into property tonight, tag it for Meltdown, see where it takes us. You got it, boss. It's a good game, huh? Yeah, it was a good game. The fourth quarter's a little bit of garbage time, man, but it was all right. You ain't gotta be like that. Bruh? What's that? I don't know. You can do this different. Hey, you owe me, man. Don't play me. Hey, Agent, what's up? What? Yeah, let's bounce. Oh. Oh. Tempo. What's going on, man? That bunch is always in trouble, man. Some folks you just can't help. Don't lie to me, AJ. <laughs> oh, man, are you ever off duty, bro? AJ, what's going on? This. You gonna tell me another lie, AJ, huh? What is up with that, man? I told you about that. AJ, you buying? Tempo, take it easy. Let me see what's in your pockets. Do it, or I'm gonna do it for you. Concessions from the game. Tempo! Ella, please business, all right? Spread them. What's happening to you, Tempo, man? You get yourself a badge, and all of a sudden you don't trust nobody no more. You know I don't do this junk no more, man. AJ? 
You have the right to remain silent. I suggest you use it. You want to charge your kid's parents? Criminal neglect, reckless endangerment, the Childhood Firearm Accident Prevention Act of 1991 states... I know what it states. It doesn't apply. Listen, the parents had no knowledge that the gun was in the house. We don't have the ingredients for a prima facie case. Oh, Bruce, then you're going to have to get creative. I know it's a stretch, but come on. Bartenders are held liable if somebody drives drunk. Why shouldn't parents be responsible if their kid shoots somebody? Because most lawmakers are parents, not bartenders. Trying to raise some awareness. I see you want to waste my time and taxpayer dollars to make a point. But it's a point worth making. Parents need to be held responsible for the raising of their kids. and They need to teach them right from wrong. So they get scared a little bit. Oh, gee, I don't want to give you this. By the way, how's it going? Huh? I mean, is there any chaos coming your way? They just messed up my sandwich in the cafeteria. They never. I want to get on the elevator. But they never did that before. I'm sorry, sir. I just want you to know, sir, that we're going to find her and make sure that we're cleansed. I'm on it. You lost those guns, man. You're responsible. Yeah, it sounds to me like you're looking to unload some blame here. Why don't you just stick with the law, Bruce? You make a bad psychologist. Yeah, the parents are victims, too. I'm not going to prosecute this one. Tell me the elevator just stopped. It stopped. I can't believe he did that. I don't want to talk about it. I mean, what was he thinking? Just because you're buddies, you're not going to bust him? Just drop it. You know what I'm say? Once an addict, always an addict. No, no. That is not true. People change. Come on, man. You caught him in the act. You did your job. Don't second guess yourself. He was so close. When that brother went as low as a brother could go, and he pulled himself out. I don't know if I could have done that. Well, people disappoint you sometimes, Temple. That's a fact of life. Well, like I said, I don't want to talk about it. Heads up, we got a player. Yo, baby, I need you to do something special for me. Uh, I need to stand in the 357, some automatic, flashy, you know, something special. So what do you need, bro? Yesterday. Now, if you need it to me today, you're looking at a couple of songs. All right. I'm willing to bet you this guy's got a phone tree that leads right back to our planet gun. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Trying Let's just take it easy, Bruce, all right? The last thing I want is to be stuck in an elevator with you. The second to the last thing is I don't want you dying on me. Thank you. That's very comforting. I don't know where to look for when I need a friend. Give me a leg up. Just don't, don't move around. No, okay? I can get that panel. No, don't move. I you can get it. You shouldn't be moving around. Because don't just move around. Me. Don't move around in here. Yeah. We could bring it down. What? I don't think we could. this thing could fall. Chief? Yeah. Still there, huh? Brander? Brander, is that you? Yes, sir. Can you get somebody who knows what they're doing? Well, we're on it, Chief. Who's we? We, me, me and there's like two guys here that are working on it right now. We're doing our best, Chief. It's an electrical short. Uh-huh. Hey, Chief, you don't think this has anything to do with the, uh, no, you know? No, no. Yeah. Obey on? No! Excuse me. Don't move so much. What'd you just do? I pushed the button. He was taking drugs away from those kids. Ella, you're not a cop. No, I'm not. But I am a witness. You got there after I did, and you did not see what I saw. Oh, and what did you see? It was dark, Temple. You have no idea what happened before you got there. I saw him take those zips and toss them in the bushes. Because he was trying to protect those kids. Temple, that rec center was a haven for crack addicts and runaways until AJ stepped Ella, in. I know what he's done, and I also know about his lies. Ella, I was there when he took money out of his own mother's purse so that he can get another hit. It's past doesn't mean he's guilty now. Ella, that was a drug buy. I don't have to justify my actions to you. Yes, you do. 
the people of that community need to know why the man who was there for them isn't anymore. Why their rec center is going to close. They need to know that you are sure about what happened. I need to know. Ella, I am not going to lie. I'm not asking you to. Just be sure about what you saw and do what's right. You look like you're having the same kind of day I am. Is everything in police work black, white, either or? Because oh I, I don't believe that. This is about Adrian Jenner, isn't it? Got a drug problem, Ella. AJ had a problem five years ago. Well, Temple arrested him. Temple's wrong. All right, say that it's true, all right? And I don't believe it is. What's the greater harm here, Chief? Taking a role model and a force for good out of the community or acknowledging that nobody's perfect and getting them help, oh. not sending them to jail. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. If Temple is right about this guy, this is his second offense. He's working with kids. He should go to jail and then he should get some help. That is the reality. Oh, okay, here's the reality. For 20 years, I've heard mayors and police chiefs talk about zero tolerance and promising to rid this city of drugs. And where are they now? Hmm? They're at their homes at the seashore. And where are the drugs? They're still here. And through it all, consistently through it all, people like AJ have worked for minimum wage in the worst parts of this city and been a source of hope. Well, how can he be a source of hope if he's still using? I mean, what kind of role model is that? You know, it's easy to claim the high ground when that's the only place you live. Oh, well, I have lived a lot of places, and one of them has not been the high ground. Excuse me, I got work to do. Excuse me! I... Yeah. Well, come on, hey! Ah, get, you know, function, function, something there, do something. Where the hell is Kitty? No, you would not help my husband. I will not help you. Well, could you refer us to someone who can? What's wrong with you, girl? This ain't no referral service. Only one who can cleanse the victim of the curse is the one that cast it, and that would be me. Now, leave my restaurant. Well, so that's how you want to play this, huh? Well, let's say we get the health inspector down here, see if things are up to code. Who do you think you're talking to, chubby man? This is my restaurant. I run a clean restaurant, and I know my rights. Don't you be threatening me. All right. All right. What if we were to pay you for your services, Mrs. Nunez? Would you be able to help us then? Now you're talking my language, girl. Brander? Brander? Hmm? Man. Detective Page. Mr. Avery. I spill your lunch here with the little business. Oh, no problem. This is a Detective Brino. How you doing? Hey. Adrian Jenner, we're looking at simple possession. Unless you tell me I can push for something else. Like what? Well, we can go in strong if you tell me he was selling. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure he was buying. Wait a minute. He had he had the stuff on him, right? Well, I found the drugs in the bushes, but I never actually saw it in his hand. Your report says you, you saw him toss the drugs into the bushes. What I said was that I saw him make a throwing motion towards the bushes. Why are you backing off, man? Look, I'm telling you what I'm sure of and what I'm not sure of. And I'm telling you I'm not bringing this case with a reluctant detective as my only witness. You better think about what you're doing. Think about what's right. All right for who? It ain't right for you, it ain't right. Well... We had to kick A.J. The U.S. attorney wouldn't write it up. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Detective? Yes, I do. I had a conversation with the prosecutor, and I told him I can't be sure about what I saw. Yeah, but you were sure that night. With all due respect, sir, I changed my mind. Why? Because I can't say for a fact that A.J. and Jenner was buying drugs that night. Uh -huh. So the change of heart wasn't personal? No, sir. Uh -huh. Would you do me a favor? Sure. Next time you make an arrest, make sure of the facts. I will do that, sir. Thanks. Ricky's good. He's taking Tai Chi. 
<laughs> well, that's why I had no date for the basketball game. Oh, he stood you up? Well, I guess I'm going to have to have a little talk with him then, huh? <laughs> you came down here for a reason, Nella. I want you to take a blood test. No. I believe you. We need everyone else to. AJ. The truth, AJ. The truth is the difference between people believing in what you do here and more days like this. Because they've lost faith. The temple sends you down no. here? No. You know, Ella, I have spent every day of my life trying to make up for what I did seven years ago. I'm tired of having to prove myself. My word should be enough. Unfortunately, it isn't. Where you going, man? Can I shoot him for making me run? Turn around. Christian's going away to a school for kids who do bad stuff. My fault. I got him into trouble. You like Dr. Davis? He said I could go back to school soon. A new school. But I don't want to. Huh. Josh, you know, you and your brother are not the only ones who did something wrong. I did something wrong, too. You did? Yeah, I was uh, supposed to keep track of that gun, and I lost it. And if I hadn't, you and your brother wouldn't have found it. Are you in trouble, too? Oh, yeah. But I'm always in trouble around here. <laughs> hey, do you know... What you call a boomerang that doesn't come back to you? Uh, I don't know. What? A stick. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. Hi. You ready to go? Yeah. I promised him something to eat, by the way. Hey, Josh. Bye. Bye. I read your statement in the papers. My family's a victim of this, too, you know. But your sons are the victims. Mr. Gilroy, uh, victims of some lax parenting. Look, that? what would you do? Put surveillance cameras in their rooms? No. No, but I checked their drawers, their emails, 
You know how many of these shootings we see a week? As a father, I would do anything I could to prevent that from happening. What about their privacy? The kids, children. You give them some love and concern now, there's going to be plenty of time for privacy later. Chief, we got to talk. Yeah. All right, Chief. Chief, it's about the curse. Two children shot and wounded by an eight-year-old boy who got the gun from his brother, he got it from us after it was stolen in last year's buyback. Commander, your son is how old? 15, 16? 14. Going on 35. <laughs> Does he have a weapon? Of course not. Are you sure? Have you checked? Any other parents in the room? Have you checked? If you insist on having a weapon, that weapon should be hidden, it should be unloaded, and there should be a safety lock on it. Anybody have a problem with that? From now on, we're going to have uniformed officers patrolling every link in the buyback chain. And we'll be doubling our patrols on roads leading into the district from Virginia and Maryland, since 55% of the guns that we've recovered were purchased there. Thank you, Chief. Mm -hmm. AJ, I hope all this mess is behind us, man. I can count on you to keep on ref. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be done. Cool. All right, yeah. I'm going to see about getting you some glasses. I'm going to tee you up. <laughs> you two work things out? I don't know. You tell you took a blood test? No. He's clean. Doesn't that hurt? I mean, your shoes are on the wrong feet. is the biography channel you want to be yourself but you're not allowed to be yourself this is the biography channel i was just beside myself with anger and disappointment this is the biography channel i'm the only actress he knows you have to pay to keep your clothes on reality meets personality only on the biography channel biography channel what a concept Copy, one, two, one. Proceed to scene. Shots fired. Two no victims. Suspect is barricaded in the schoolyard. All units on route. Chief on scene. Code three. Zero eight four five. Temple. What do we got? We got two children shot. One in the shoulder, one in the leg. On the way to states, but right now we have the school on lockdown. Teachers and kids inside. The shots came from the shed. I think the shooter's still in there. No idea who it is. We made contact yet? Not for lack of trying. Commander? Chief, my men are ready to move in. Try again. This is the Metropolitan Police Department. You are surrounded by members of the NPD SWAT team. Put your weapons down and kick them clear of the shed. And come out with your hands where we can see them. Hold it! Hold your fire! Hold it, Joe! 
set is secure. Now put the gun down, son. Put, put it down. Son, you put that gun down. Put it down. Drop it. That boy, back up. Back away. Trouble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need access to Josh's locker and school records. Of course, whatever I can do to help. Thank you. Second grade. Second. Do I have to check the lunch boxes now? Wouldn't say where he got it. He's getting bullied by a fourth grader, so he shot it. Welcome to America, land of the free, home of the Second Amendment. Joanne. Joanne, we can't find Joshua. They, they said the kids would be in the gym, but Josh was not there. He's with the police. Excuse me, are you Joshua's parents? Uh-huh. I'm Jack Manning, chief of police. Your son's been involved in the shooting. It's fine. It's all right. What? We've got to take him down no, to police headquarters. Oh, well, we haven't made a mistake. And uh, we'll be able to talk to him down there, Detective Page. We'll make sure you get down there safely. All right? Wait a minute. He's only eight years old. Hey. Hey, Gilroy, what kind of monster did you raise, huh? What are you doing? Off, buddy. Dad, what the hell are you talking about? No, 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 no. You, your face. son did this thing. What did you get do? Get the hell out of my face. You got to come and sir. No, 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 no. Your son did this. You're going to get yours. You have it coming to you, sir. Calm down. No, sir. You're going to get yours. It's all coming to you later, right? Josh. Where'd you get the gun? Josh, honey, please tell him. Josh, I know you're afraid, but I, uh, I need your help. Somebody give you the gun? I found it. In the garbage. In the garbage? You hungry? Want a soda or something like that? Okay. All right. Christian, could you help me out? Excuse me. Christian, you play chess? A little. Yeah, I saw you looking at the chess board. Do you know what a queen's gambit is? That's when you sacrifice a pawn to gain an advantage. I think that's what's going on here. Your little brother is afraid to say anything. He doesn't want to get you in trouble. He's protecting you. No. No? It's a real shame. You don't let your little brother take the heat for something you did. How was I supposed to know he was going to find it? I mean, I told him to stay out of my room. What the hell were you doing with a gun? We don't have guns in our house. What the hell were you thinking? Mr. Gilroy. Where'd you get the gun, Christian? This guy. Um, I don't know. I, I think his name's like Remy or something. Comes to our school. Yeah. He's into all that stuff, you know? 
wears his red hat every day. And he's cool. Look, I, I wasn't planning on using it. I, I was just trying to be... Guns are cool, Dad. I'm not the only one. A lot of kids I know have guns now. Christian, what are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? Do you know what you've done? Where would I find this Remy? I don't know. Answer him, Christian. Corner of 56th and Queen. My husband, go. He is innocent. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? He's being processed, ma'am. There's nothing we can do. But you got the wrong man. Who's in charge here? I know those shoes. You're the chief, ma'am. You can get my Oliver out of here. Sorry, sir. Look, lady, you're going to have to calm down. All right? They arrested my husband, but he didn't do what they said he did. Mm. Burglary. He had the stuff on the chief. Liar. Hey, you crossed the line, lady. Mm -hmm. uh, Brand. Brander? Easy. I'm sorry. Your name? Mrs. Nunez. Mrs. Nunez. I'm Jack Manny, Chief of Police. Why don't you have a seat? Now, Mrs. Nunez, these officers will politely explain what the process is. Would that be all right with you? That's all I get? Chaos will come to all of you. Obeya will see that he does. I was polite. Sir. Yeah. Sir, I think she put a curse on us. A curse? I mean, did you see the look in her eyes? Uh-huh. I've read several books about this. I wouldn't mess with it, sir. Oh, Nancy, come on. Obey is a very serious shaman, Chief. They can mess up your mojo. Oh, man. Oh, Brandon. I mean, come on. You don't even know what a mojo is. No. If you had a mojo, you couldn't find it. Right? Yeah. Nancy, get him some more. Come on, Brandon. Okay, deep breaths. Ella, that gun buyback program you ran last year, how many guns we get off the street? Oh, about 1,800. How long would it take to set up another one? I'll put on a request and get right on it. Joe, I'd like to get cops into all the elementary schools, public, private, and I want those cops checking the lockers of the students. ACLU is going to be all over us. Well, good. We'll give them something to do. boy Remy. Thought he was a regular here. Kelly Bean? You know, I've been thinking. I think I'm going to talk to the chief about getting you a new partner. The way I figure it, you got to spend 12 hours a day with somebody. Might as well be somebody you like. <laughs> Let's get over yourself, all right? We're partners. See, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. 
Whatever. You got a red hat? No, 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 hold up. We got two. Well, there's a simple solution to this. Yo, Remy! Yo, Remy! MPD! MPD! Get off the door, Remy! I came over to say hello. Yeah, all right, sweetheart. That's better. It's a little friendlier. You got here, Remy? Huh? Quite a collection. Good thing our eight-year-old didn't get his hands on one of these babies. Littleton, Colorado, West Paducah, Kentucky, Springfield, Oregon, Pearl, Mississippi, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, and now Washington, D.C. These guns were confiscated from schools in the district today, and these guns belong to a street dealer who sold one to a 15-year-old boy. And that gun was used by his eight-year-old brother to shoot two fourth graders this morning. What used to be just a national problem is now becoming a huge problem in the District of Columbia. Now, the question that should be on your minds is, what about the parents? Guns have become deadly accessories for our kids. They're no longer taboo. They're cool. They're easier to get than tickets to a Redskins game. Your kids? Our kids. Right on time. Hey, look at it this way, Lewis. Man, two rebounds is two more than you had this time last year. Yeah, I guess. All right? All right. Hit them books. Oh, man.